Yo you guys, what is going on? It's your boy Blazonary here and today in this video we have my New York 2020 closet tour. Let's get into it. I moved into this house about three months ago and I had to build myself a closet out of a room because the house that I'm living in is so old, there's actually no closets. The only closet that I actually have is this little doorway. And these are just all my sneakers that you can find from my sneaker collection video. Now my closet is connected to my bedroom. When I moved here, I needed a couple pieces of furniture. One of those pieces was this dresser right here, the mirror, that dresser, and of course, the racks. And since this is not a permanent residency, I'm definitely planning on doing another closet tour, getting, you know, a proper closet. I've been collecting all these clothes now since I was about 16 years old. A lot of them maybe fit me and a lot of them maybe don't fit me. So also in this video, we'll be seeing what clothes I may want to get rid of out of the collection and we might put them on my website, blazonary.com for you guys to check out. Leave a like if you're excited and make sure you drop a comment down below on what your favorite piece of clothing is. I might go ahead and give it away for you guys in my upcoming videos why not I check my comments all right so let's start it off first up I'm gonna go with my most iconic piece in the collection first I had to bring it out first to show you guys we were not messing around in this video right here we have my supreme Louis Vuitton fur parka the retail on this coat was about 4500 and that's actually when I ended up paying for it in a sneaker con in Memphis back in 2017 the jacket now goes for well over 10 grand and I'm so happy to have it in my collection especially as an investment piece and one of the coolest supreme Louis Vuitton pieces probably in the whole collection next up a similar piece to the Louis Vuitton one is this denim hole punch trucker jacket this is a recent one that I just got in the collection and it looks a lot like the Louis Vuitton item. So I color coded this top of the closet right here to make it pretty easy to know which you know box logos and things that I want to wear. Now going through this, I might have to say I might have a couple box logos that I want to sell. So it might be hard saying goodbye, but I think I have to make some decisions here today. So let's check out this first one. This first one is an orange Supreme San Francisco opening box logo. Oop, one of the only non-box logos that'll be up here is this Supreme Champion hoodie. I wear this thing all the time. It's probably one of the most worn items in my collection. Right here we have a black on black hooded sweatshirt. Next up, we have a camo Supreme box logo. I bought this thing at a sneaker con. I think it was, oh, I can't even remember, a Los Angeles one maybe? Oh, this one is sick. Right here, we have the CDG polka dot sweatshirt. This one is super sought after because most of them on the market are actually fake. And if you have a real one, the prices can be up to $1,000. And then one of the first box logos I got in my collection, this might have been the second one. This is my purple on black 2006 Supreme box logo. The purple box logo is probably my favorite out of all of them just because I have such an emotional connection to this shirt. I used to wear it all the time, like literally any sneaker con, any party I went to or something like that. This was my go-to. And then another purple box logo. This one is a purple on black. And these fetch also a little hefty price tag, maybe about 11 or or $1,200. It's just an old crew neck. You can't find it. And then we have probably one of the worst box logos of all time. I mean, they called it a box logo. It just doesn't fit that traditional pattern of a regular box logo. Therefore, I don't see it as, you know, a traditional BOGO. And then right here, we have a cause t-shirt box logo. This is actually a very hard one to tell on camera. I think you guys can see it though. It's just a little sketch around just done by the artist cause in that little font. Moving along, we have the gray section. So I showed you a little bit of that already, but let's Let's get it off. I think I found the first box logo that we're gonna be selling from the collection. This right here is my polka dot CDG box logo I got in 2016 as well. Unfortunately with this guy though, it is just a size small and I'm wearing a size large now. So we're gonna have to pass this off to the blazonary.com store. Next up, we have a highlighter orange and gray Supreme box logo. We have my Swarovski box logo. This is actually one of my favorites in the collection. As you can see, I'm wearing one right now and it is just a showstopper and I'm not sure how the price is gonna do in the next couple years I know they sort of had like a little up and down moment this is an old super rare one in my collection I don't bring this one out a lot just because I don't really want to wear it and mess it up 99 or 98 Sopranos box logo you guys can see right there on the R the little graphic this is a gem a lot of people don't know about this box logo particularly because from far away it just looks like a regular box logo uh, the Sopranos was a very 
popular ongoing TV show. Looks like we've stumbled across another shirt I'm probably gonna end up selling. This is another 99 or 98 Supreme t-shirt. It's definitely uh, pre-2000 and it's the trophy tee. I'm probably gonna sell this for like 250 or 300 on the website. We also have just a plain Jane red on gray box logo. This thing has come out many, many times. Super common colorway to get. Just a staple to have in the collection for sure. And lastly, we have my undercover box logo. This is a unique one because it's got a graphic on the box logo. And like, you know, it, it does, in my opinion, fall within the traditional category of like a box logo. Yes, there's a graphic on it, but there's still just that lime green bogo. You can't miss it. Whereas the sticker one, it's just a different graphic entirely. All right, next category. Here we go. This is my first ever box logo right here. This is the Malodkin box logo. This came out in 2003 by an artist named Andre Malodkin, and they collaborated together with Supreme, made a bunch of different colorways on the t-shirts. It's like an ink drawing, if you guys can see, blue ink. Right here we have my white Swarovski t-shirt and I actually have the store retail tag on this one. So that's a really big one. Next up we have a Union Jack long sleeve. This is the UK flag on a box logo as you guys can see. And what's cool about it is they only made the long sleeve for the London store opening. There's a t-shirt version as well. Right here we have a Damien Hurst t-shirt. This is as you guys can see, the polka dots, little colored polka dots that spell the word supreme. And on the back, there's a Nas quote actually, life's a bitch and then you die. Here we have a cream on cream crew neck. This came out in 2017. It's actually kind of hard to pick up on camera, so I apologize. Right here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell this one. We have a CDG box logo. Now the back print is this like digital camo, as you guys can see. And it does have that backwards Supreme on the front. However, just this shirt in particular, not my favorite. If I already have some that are similar, I'm probably not gonna wear it. And this isn't my personal favorite graphic on the back of a t-shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell it on my website, blazonary.com. Probably my holy grail in my collection. This right here is my purple on white box logo. These things are really limited in numbers because these were like a friends and family photo shoot that happened with Juicy J, I believe it was. And I have it in a size medium, and I'm just very, very, very lucky to have gotten it from a collector who has and specializes in rare box logos. I made an entire video about it as well. You guys know, if you know me and you've been a fan of my channel for a little while, the Bling box logo is just something that I have not been a fan of, just for whatever reason, man. I, I don't know, it's just probably not for me. Am I gonna keep it? Absolutely. Next up, we have a CDG polka dot t-shirt, another one, just another box logo, and a teal on cream. Or maybe it's not cream, maybe it's supposed to be white, and it's just very, very old. Oh boy, I'm not sure. And then lastly, two newer box logos, we have the COVID-19 Relief Fund 2020 Takashi Murakami collab, and we also have a Supreme Brooklyn store opening. Here we go, this is a big section. So right here we have the American flag box logo and the 9-11 memorial box logo. Right here we have a pink bandana. This was the new bandana Paisley collection that came out. Then we have a Supreme red on red crew neck. Right here we have another Swarovski box logo. And this is an older one, a purple on red. This is a newer purple on red hoodie. This is another Swarovski. This is a red on red. Here's a bandana red on red, and here's a rust on rust. Here we have a salmon on salmon and a mustard on mustard. These are the 2017 crew necks that were pretty much tonal. They came out, the color of the box logo is the color of the crew neck. Here we have a yellow bandana. Right here we have a highlighter yellow on orange. Now this one in particular is not gonna be something I'm gonna wear. I just don't wear a lot of lime green. Here we go, we got another lime on blue. This one's a little different, it's just vintage, and I like the blue instead of the orange, so this is one that will actually keep. Here we have a navy on navy tonal and a blue on blue tonal. I pretty much have I think every 2017 crew neck except for like one of them. And a holy grail. This is my 2006 blue on blue royal box logo. I think the price of this is actually around 3000 at this point. It is one of the craziest ones in my collection just because of the fact that they don't produce the royal blue on the royal blue. And it's just such an old one hard to find. People will pay a lot for these. And let's break it down. The last of the box logos right here. Woo! I mean, I have a couple more actually, but they're just stashed underneath. So we'll talk about those in a second. Here we have one of my first box logos. This is a Yankees Navy on Navy. As you guys can see, I paid like 200 bucks when it first came out, which is kind of expensive for a box logo back then. 
uh, but now, I mean, I'm glad I paid that because in this condition, I could sell it for at least maybe three or 400. Here we have some favorites coming up. So here's a baby blue on black. This is like a 2005. And then we have a teal on purple, super rare. And I love this teal collection. There's a couple ones. I can't remember if this is burgundy or wine, yo. There's like a color or maroon. Oh, I don't remember, yo. Somebody needs to help me out with this one. Then we have a 1997 purple on purple box. So I'll go super, super rare. Super happy to have this in the collection. This right here was a very cheap box logo that I actually picked up. The condition is really, really bad. It is uh, peeling. Somebody tried to fix it with crazy glue. It is a hollow foil box logo, so the fact that it's still intact, there is value there, but the overall shirt itself is just not in the best condition. I will sell this on my site. Look, see? We're gonna sell it as is. I want somebody else to deal with it. Brand new, these things go for over $2,000. And in this condition, you could probably sell it for maybe four or 500 if you fix it. Here's a purple on purple. This is probably my favorite box logo in the collection. Like if I had to pick one, this would be the one I'm keeping just because it's that, you know, the beautiful purple on purple. Here we have a Lakers colored box logo. This is a yellow on purple. Here's a teal on pink. And this is a super rare one. It's a screen print. A lot of you guys may not know they screen printed these crew necks sometimes instead of doing the embroidery. And the final box logo right here that's hung up is another 911 flag memorial. This is just a brown colored version. Well, we got through the box logos, but there's still some stuff on this top shelf that we'll quickly go over. Right here we have my Rhinestone Supreme New York 911 Memorial denim jacket. Love having this one in the collection. It just means a lot to me, especially now that I'm back in New York. Right here we have a 1-800 Supreme crew neck. I've worn it a couple times, but I don't think I'm gonna wear it any more than I already have. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. Super nice jacket coming up. This is a leather jacket from Supreme. I think the retail was like 700 bucks. I'm glad to have a real leather jacket in my collection. Here's a purple Supreme jacket and an Illegal Business Controls America Supreme jacket from 2006. Here we got some purple tones. We have a keyboard tee. Here we have a Supreme script hoodie. I think I'm gonna sell this one. I've worn a bunch in the collection, but not really feeling it anymore. And lastly, we have a purple fleece jacket. Same deal right here. I think I'm just gonna sell this one on my website. And lastly, up top, we have a Supreme Lacoste jacket. So on this bottom section right here, we have my jackets and other Supreme items. So let's cover that. Right here, we have a Supreme Jet tee. We have a Greetings from Supreme t-shirt. Here's a Dynamite logo t-shirt. Ah, the Gons logo. Right here we have the Black Panther and a Stay Positive Supreme shirt. Then we have a Muhammad Ali versus Supreme tee. Super classic shirt. I don't really want to wear it and ruin the condition of it anymore. So we're going to sell it and I'll probably make a little bit of a profit on it. Then right here we have a Supreme classic logo. This says Supreme New York in light green. I'm just not feeling the light green. So I'm going to sell this one as well. Right here we have a recent Supreme collaboration with an artist that says Game Over on the front. There's the Yeezus In Memoriam t-shirt. Another super rare one right here. We have my Supreme Patagonia New York wool crew neck. This thing right here, if you know the logo, very, very iconic. And I don't think they actually authorized the use of these. They maybe pulled them off the shelves. I don't know too much, but this crew neck, I think I paid like a thousand bucks for it. And then we have a Know Thyself Supreme sweatshirt. This is just a nice graphic on the front of it. Got it in one of my mail times. Here's a Supreme hoodie that my mom bought me years ago. It's still, I think, the only Supreme hoodie she's bought me still. This is just a script logo hooded sweatshirt. She got it off a drop like in 2016. Then we have a Supreme Everlast boxing crew neck. This is a really cool logo. Supreme payphone. I got this in London. Dice Rayon and the Supreme Mary Joseph hooded sweatshirt. We have a Yankees white Supreme hoodie, the Icy Arc logo. This right here is a gift from my brother. He got me this for my birthday. It was a little bit ago now. Supreme t shirt, green. I don't know the name of it, but super old at this point. Just not a fan of this hoodie anymore. I'm definitely going to sell it. Here we have the Supreme Craftwork hoodie. This is actually a shirt that came out, I think, in 97, and they remade it into a hoodie literally 23 years later. 22, something like that. I don't know. A very long time. Right here we have a purple Nike crew neck, the Ghost Rider tee. Here's a Navy Supreme crew neck, the Yankees. A navy work jacket, Nike. I think I'm gonna sell this one. I'm not a fan of it anymore. One of my first Supreme items, this is a zip up and it's a black zip up. Very plain, just a Supreme right there in the back, but I don't even think you could see it. Then right here we have the casino jacket, a studded purple hoodie. I think I'm gonna sell this one though. And probably too, you know, the Supreme casino jacket. It's very cool, just a little flashy. I think I'm gonna sell this too. Right here we have a champion jacket. I love this one. I've worn this a ton. Gonna keep it around. And then guys, we have the absolute heater pile. These are all of my North Face jackets. I have a couple of them. 
So we'll start it off. Right here we have the Extra Butter New York North Face. The Supreme Map Jacket. Right here we have the Bandana Paisley Jacket. This is a new North Face that came out, the Expedition. The Denali Fleece, a very old one. Here's another North Face. This one I wear all the time. I even wear it skiing. You actually could see the last time I went skiing. Here's a purple North Face jacket. Here we have the Fall Leaves Nupsy. I love the Nupsies. The Nupsies are probably like my favorite out of the collection. They just, to me, you could wear them all the time, just with any outfit, especially in the winter, and you could really pair them up well. I gotta say, like, just collecting these over the years, I'm so glad I could finally bring them, wear them in New York, because it's gonna be cold for like five, six months out of the year at least. So we're gonna have a lot of great wear. I've already worn this one, the New York Liberty. We're gonna finish up the North Faces, so we're going strong here. The last one I got in London, this is actually a Ball Toro, not a Nupsy. And then some stuff on the bottom that I'm saving. We have some things, so let's talk about it. Here is a Swarovski black hoodie sweatshirt. It's actually DS in the bag still. Then we have a black on black bandana hoodie. This is also gonna be stashed away. Some Statue of Liberty North Face backpack and a green Supreme Expedition backpack. And while putting back the stuff, I actually found another DS Supreme bandana box logo. In my dresser, I have my pants. So we're gonna talk about some of them because a lot of this stuff is just like my socks and some random things like that. Right here, we have some Stone Island cargos. Got these very recently in a shopping vlog. Next up, some Travis Scott sweatpants. A lot of this stuff, it's just very randomly thrown in here. So hope you guys enjoy the randomness. Here we have some Subi jeans. I wear these things all the time. We have a lot of Supreme pants. These are like a camo pair. We have the set for the Joseph and Mary sweatpants. Here we have some Bape. So these are like some Bape shark pants. Here's the Navy Bape shark pants. Got them both in LA actually. Another pair of denim. We have my off-white denim. So this, just a very standard, very light wash pair. Just says a uh, temperature right there on the back. And for the last pair of pants in this drawer is a purple pair of Supreme North Face pants that matches the North Face jacket that I have. Next up for the pants drawer, oh man, this one's loaded. I'm probably gonna redo like most of these drawers by the time I'm done with this video, so I'm just gonna pile them on the floor right now. These right here are my off-white cargo sweatpants. Then we have some standard black straight Subi denim. Then we have the sweatpants that go with the North Face jacket that I showed you earlier. We have another pair of pants that goes with another Supreme jacket. You guys might be recognizing which one I'm talking about. We have some Palm Angels Under Armour pants. I was actually gifted these. We have my Stone Island very swooshy windbreaker pants. Another pair of whooshy pants, the uh, purple Supreme ones right here. Next dresser, we have some gray Subi denim. Got these in my brand new vlog. Some Stone Island, another pair of cargos. We have these off-white pants right here. I got these a very long time ago in a challenge a shopping challenge video and then the rest of the stuff besides like these stone islands right here just another stone island cargo we have our gucci pants so let me just grab this thing for the most part you guys can see what all of them are so we have some just gucci different styles they're really all the same on these ones just sweatpants my favorite would have to be this velour set though you guys have seen my supreme collection you guys have seen my pants but have you seen the clothes that i wear on the day-to-day -day basis that you might not see, you know, in the vlogs, etc. Let me show you some of my favorite shirts that I've collected over the years. Right here, we have a Pokemon Daniel Arsham t-shirt. Another one of my favorite things to collect is artist merch. So this right here is Lil Wayne's Wikipedia Carter 5 release. Right here, we have a Metallica plus, plus, plus. Before I even realized getting this tattoo, the Master of Puppets artwork logo is already so similar to everything I've got going on. Like this shirt right here just speaks volumes here we have a calvin and hobbs t-shirt right here i love this comic book as a kid so it's just got a lot of really nice graphics on the back of it we have a cause we have a bare brick fragment t-shirt right here so i like a lot of the simple stuff too some of the more casual items i just wear maybe underneath my hoodie or i'll wear it just if i'm in the house chilling we have some stuff like the cause human body half figurine sculpture another Lil wayne carter five this is uh this is probably one of my favorites right here brain dead collaboration we also have right here a vintage Super Mario shirt. So this is super cool with the bob and Mario and Luigi running away from it. And then just some other stuff like some Thunderbolt Pokemon Pikachu fragment shirt. I'd be wearing this stuff for the Pokemon channel. Make sure you guys subscribe. Blazonary Pokemon, link in the description below. And then some other stuff up here. We have like some beanies and things. So here's like a Supreme beanie. Got a lot of Supreme beanies actually. Just kind of random, whichever one I choose to wear for the day. This is actually, ooh, this is a Blazonary beanie. We only made these once. We have like some Supreme headbands. We have a cheetah and a white one. This is another tie-dye Supreme beanie. I think I'm gonna sell this one. I haven't worn it yet. Here we have a fleece Supreme New York head warmer and I'm gonna sell this one as well. 
This is a Supreme New York London Cities headband and I'm gonna sell this one as well, never worn it. And then here's some of the things I used to wear all the time, these fleece headbands that came out from Supreme, I think it was in 2016. It was like so expensive to buy these too. They were like a hundred bucks each and you were buying them used for the most part, it's kinda nasty. But <laughs> that was the time back then, yo. It was totally different. I really love that era Supreme. And then uh, here we go, this is another, this is an interesting one, especially for now. This is a North Face mask. Ideally, you'd wear this for snowboarding, but with the current conditions, probably be a good one for today. Then we have some other things like some just Supreme gloves and stuff like that. A lot of this stuff I'm just keeping off to the side, keeping it in the drawer. Then on the bottom, we just have some vintage band shirts. So I'll just show you a few of them. I have shown this stuff before. This is a Grateful Dead tee right here, the summer tour. Here's a revamped Kith shirt. They were taking these vintage shirts and just printing their logo on them. So there's a Pink Floyd band shirt. We have some other stuff like some Future merch. So here's the Wizard, the album. I actually was gifted this. So shout out to Future's gifting team. Same with this one. We have the Jumpin' Jet hoodie so i was also gifted this as well and then some stuff on the bottom just like some vape shorts just some out of season stuff right now that i can't wear uh just like summer shorts etc do we have like a galaxy pair i got these in like 2016 they're like my first vape shorts and then over here we have the final rack in the room this is actually a double rack containing brands like travis scott gucci and then vape stone island off-white etc so get ready for this one i may have some stuff for sale in it as well so let's jump right into it up first, we have some of the classy stuff. So this is like my JPG Supreme suit. I have the full suit, the tux, the blazer, the pants. Right here, I was invited to Tyler, the Creator's Lacoste event, and I was gifted this as part of the collaboration. I was actually featured in Vogue for it. It was a really cool moment in my life. Here's a Stone Island jacket. This one's like a maroon reflective one. Here's just a regular red Subi crew neck, and we have a Stone Island 3M side, sort of like a creamish red, I'd say. Here's a Subi denim jacket. So we have just uh, the money bag on the back. This is actually Travis Scott's collab. Here's a Gucci jacket. I got this thing in my Gucci shopping spree. Some of you guys may recognize that. That's an OG one right there. Here's a Gucci crew neck, just a multicolor lion logo. Very sick, very colorful. Here's an off-white flannel. I used to wear this thing a lot. I got it in a challenge video when I visited Harrison in Atlanta. And I'm gonna go ahead and sell this. I've worn it a bunch. Not really my taste anymore. I wanna try and make some space over here on this side just cause it's getting a little crowded. Here we have an off-white long sleeve we have the statue of liberty didn't think i would end up selling this one but i just don't like the design of it i'm gonna sell it probably for the low here's a travis scott subi hoodie this is part of that money bag collab that you guys saw and then here we go we got some vape so let's run it up we have some naruto and vape pokemon and vape new york store opening vape shirt here is a kith tee that i recently got this is a Bape New York shirt again. Here's a Naruto Bape shirt. This is a 2001 Bape and Pepsi collab, but it's not really Pepsi. It's just the Pepsi logo, sort of. And then another New York shirt. I, as you guys can tell, I love Bape and I love New York. So they, they collab a lot. The New York store is here. I gotta have the merch. This is an LA store bare brick tee. I've only worn it one time. Think I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Here we have a Naruto and Gara. I love Naruto Shippuden. I finished all the episodes, 500 of them, even the first Naruto. Yes, I even watched all the filler. Why did I watch the filler? Because once I finished the show, I had to go back and get some more content. I skipped the filler originally, so that is, that is just the best show of all time, Naruto Shippuden. Just letting y'all know. Here we go. Here's a SpongeBob and Baby Milo. This is actually a 2008 shirt. Very old. Goes for like 300 bucks. Here's a Baby Milo panda tee. Panda is one of my favorite animals. Another Pokemon t-shirt right here. This is a vintage, very old one, actually. This is an angry face vape head. This actually goes for maybe 250 bucks in this condition just because of the, the pristineness of the college logo. You could also tell right here, very old shirt because of the Bape tag. One of my first Bape pieces I bought at the Bape store, this might have been the first actually, is a reversible champion head crew neck. Here's a Bape Swarovski crystal long sleeve. Here's a DS Bape hoodie I'm still stashing away. This is my purple one right here. Woo! Here's a Naruto and Kuruma hoodie with actually all the logos of all the characters from Naruto. So very, very cool. Got Kakashi on there. This is a Naruto Bape crew neck. This is a SpongeBob Baby Milo tee. Again, this one goes for maybe 300 bucks as well. This is my first Bape shirt. This is a Back to the Future DeLorean tee. I had this before I had my Nike mags. This is a Hello Kitty crew neck. I got it in a men's size from Japan. I'm gonna go ahead and sell it though. Here we have a gift from somebody at one of my pop-ups. This is a really cool moment. Another Bape Swarovski long sleeve. This is just a very, very sick one. I love, love the Bape stuff. You guys can really tell, I'm sure. Like another Kuruma one. I just double up on some of the colors, some of my favorite styles. This right here is a medium size. Dang it. 
purple shark. I probably need a large. I might end up selling this and get a large. I gotta find the large first before I commit to selling this. Probably the most worn hoodie in my entire collection overall. This is just a plain old Bape hoodie, a purple one. Here's a navy Bape shark and a light blue Bape shark. Here we have a Wiz Khalifa hoodie collab. This is a New York shark and Sasuke New York hoodie. So that camo, that purple New York camo, this is uh, exclusive to New York store only. Here's a Bape Pokemon hoodie that I recently got. I was so, so lucky to get this at retail man i literally got the last one you guys gotta check that video out and this super special one as well this right here is a special collab kevin durant exclusive colorway i don't even think this released like i think this is just for promotional seating and i think there's not many of them in the world I, I, i'm just lucky yo lucky blessed hard working let's see this is a, a white and purple body shark vintage star wars tee it's very cool but i'm gonna sell it i don't watch a lot of star wars here we have a dragon ball z I haven't watched Dragon Ball Z and owning the shirt, like I love it, but I think it's time I can go ahead and sell it. And this was actually when I did another Bape event. This is the PUBG live stream that I did. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one just for the memories. It doesn't fit me, but it has some sentimental value. This is a Bape puffer jacket, one of the first biggest purchases on my channel. It was like a $700 jacket. And I remember getting it at a sneaker con and I was so hyped. I remember trying on somebody's actually, that's what made me love it and it wasn't mine so getting to own it now just looking back on that moment very cool and then yo we got some blazendary gear what some of my favorite pieces i have hung up because i love to wear it on the day-to-day -day in my outfits and everything so here's my new york skyline crew neck this is when i went on tour at sneaker con and i kind of bit off the justin bieber purpose tour logo working on some sample stuff for the future so we're working on some new embroidery and some hoodies right here we got the classic logo yes the corriger paris logo makes an appearance on my name as well and here's a tie-dye hoodie we have this is actually still on the website as well and it's just a cool one we have a nike mag tie-dye swirl shirt our most recent drop consists of the chains these brand new italian luxury blend hoodies and these reflective track pants that we just launched so really appreciate your guys' support this is actually embroidered right here on the reflective so that's not going to come off in the wash or anything like that and these are just a great pair to have for the winter especially you know you can put some thermal bottoms underneath you could go out play in the snow in them. It's a great pair of pants. And yeah, just a hoodie. We're trying to take that brand to the next level quality. Hope you guys really like it. The back shelf, this is all going to be some stuff like Travis Scott merch and everything. And I am going to go ahead and go through it because I'd like to talk about some of the ones I'm going to end up selling. But let's start off first. Right here, we have a Palm Angels American flag hoodie. Got this thing in LA. Here's an Astro World Tour long sleeve. Says, wish you were here on it. Going to sell it. I don't wear it as much as I used to anymore. And I have to start making some room. This is an Amiri tee. I do wear this one a lot. This is when I met Juice World and he signed my merch. This was a very insane moment. And we even shot a commercial together for Foot Locker with Meek Mill, an experience I'll never forget for sure. Out like a light sicko mode tee. I'm gonna sell this one. Here we have some Astro World merch and just another piece that I'm gonna go ahead and sell. I don't wear it. And I actually have these hung up, which I need to put them away. It's probably why I haven't been able to find them. <laughs> these are just my Astro World sweatpants. So more pieces from the drop. We have my Astro World Wish You Were here and here's an m3 hoodie this is a super cool one the cactus jack rop but i'm gonna sell it i think i'm gonna sell this one too it's just not something i'm wearing as much here i have an astro world put on a happy face t-shirt this is uh down to earth the little yin yang i like this logo a lot definitely gonna keep it in the collection got some pretty cool pieces here this is a jump man cactus jack t-shirt i still have the tag on it so i'm gonna sell it now i think now's the time for sure it's definitely reached its peak price this is an astro world tour astronaut shirt i like that i'm gonna keep it this is a uh, wish you were here all i got was this f and t-shirt <laughs> so i'm gonna keep this i think that's just a cool one to have in the memories and here's another one this is the highest in the room tie-dye gonna sell this one right here then we have right here another wish you were here this is just a globe hoodie on the front but it's actually got a reverse side and not going to show that side on youtube <laughs> here's the cactus jack t-shirt again this has got the uh the travis scott four colors on it and this is when they did all that so i'm going to sell this stuff now it does have all the tags and just never worn them right here we have a look mom i can fly tee gonna sell that i haven't worn it Here's another one, look mom, I can fly, I customize these myself. So they're all gonna be different shirts available on the internet. So I'm just gonna sell my creations of them. I'm gonna keep this one, I have worn it before, no tag on it. 
a Wish You Were Here skeleton roses themed. This is the tour merch, so I didn't actually go to the tour, but I am gonna go ahead and put that for sale. I know somebody that did go to the tour probably would love that. Here's a Gucci t-shirt, very old one in the collection. And here's an Astroworld Fest Beyond Belief shirt. Gonna sell this one as well. I was wearing that stuff a lot, 2018, 2019, but I think now I could pass it on. Also makes up a ton of room back there so I could start getting some new clothes. Here's a Balmain crew neck. I'm gonna keep that one. This is a Travis Scott and Jordan collab. So this is one of their first collabs. Here's another Look Mom I Could Fly piece of merch. Gonna sell that. Here's an Astroworld embroidered Thrills and Chills hoodie. This one is very cool, but I think I'm gonna sell it. We have that new drop, that Fortnite guy merch. I'm gonna keep this one. I like the Fortnite guy stuff. This is a Thrills and Chills denim jacket right here. Super cool, very nice piece in the collection. Wow, another Astro World hoodie. Gonna sell this one just out of all the stuff we have. I mean, I gotta get rid of some of it. This is a Kith Uptown's hoodie. I've got this, it was a custom thing. They were allowing you to make your own graphics. So this is what I got for my Air Forces. Here's a Giants crew neck, a vintage Giants crew neck. Gonna keep that around and a trippy red piece of tour merch. This is when he came to Charlotte and I grabbed it at the concert. This is a Venom crew neck and a Gucci holographic shirt. Get your Gucci bucket hat on and let's get with it. Here's a Gucci track jacket. Right here we have another one. I got a lot of this stuff actually on my shopping spree at Gucci. A lot of just random, random shopping sprees. I could name all the videos I'm sure, but maybe you guys have seen them, maybe you guys haven't. And if you're brand new here and you're just seeing all this stuff for the first time, well, I'd check out my other videos to see when and where I got these clothes. Definitely something you could check out for sure. This is an old one. Man, I haven't seen this one in a while. Yo, I haven't worn this thing in a minute. And uh, here's my last one. This is actually my first piece of Gucci. Wow, I did not realize how much Gucci I have, to be honest with you, between like the pants and stuff like that. Not something I'd probably consider wearing a ton now. A lot of these pieces have some really special value to me and I'm gonna keep pretty much all of them. I don't think I'll sell a single piece of Gucci. And I'm sure in the future they could see some good return. Uh, but once you buy them and you use it, the clothing does not like appreciate really. I basically built myself a lifetime collection worth of Gucci and I'm pretty happy about it. And uh, this is that uh, Yankees bomber that I sometimes wear. My girlfriend actually wore it the other day. Here we go, we got some final items on the clothes. Here's an off-white crew neck, the Galaxy, a Givenchy. Here's a Gucci New York denim jacket. Very, very cool, love that. Life is good, future. Here's a Stone Island crew neck, a Takashi Murakami Complex Con crew neck that I got when I went, and a stamped denim jacket. Yo, I literally am gonna have so much to clean up after this video, like it's unreal. But uh, that's the sell pile. Sheesh. This is what I just recently put up. Let's finish off strong and talk about these. That is one of my first ever Gucci bags. That's Kim Jones' last collection, the LV Virgil, a Galaxy backpack, my brother lets me wear this, and just some other bags that you guys have seen over the years from the videos. Just I got them all on this little table in the corner now. This is a temporary closet and I'd love to do a video in the next year or two years which covers my full complete built out closet with shoes, all the bags, all the stuff and we'll make an hour long or two hour special when that happens but for now what I can do in this room I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. It was a ton of fun to make and just seeing some of these old clothes I'm gonna have some fun outfits to go through you know putting together this stuff like this. It's just really takes me back to when I was buying this stuff and I just love seeing it so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed too. Make sure you leave a like drop a comment on your favorite piece down below and make sure you guys check out the website blazenary.com to get your merch and other things we have for sale thank you guys stay positive and peace out